Welcome to our game today where Vici and Anand played two brilliant moves, seven great moves, and trapped Kasparov's queen after 12 moves, and yet Kasparov still nearly get out of the game uh, alive with a draw. So, unbelievable game to watch. So, how did Anand capture Kasparov's queen and trap it? And how did Kasparov nearly get back into the game? Well, let's have a look. We had e4 by uh, Anand playing with the white pieces. c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, f4, e6, bishop to d3, knight to d7, and here uh, Anand castles. And after the castles, we get Kasparov playing the queen to b6, pinning the knight to the king. Um, and in this position, Anand sets a little trap and he plays uh, one of his great moves in this game by playing bishop to e3, giving up the pawn on b2 and unpinning the knight. But there is a bit of a plan here because after Kasparov takes on b2, Anand plays a brilliant move. Can you find a brilliant move here? Um, his plan is, of course, to trap the queen. So the first move he plays is knight to b5, obviously threatening a fork if you don't take it, and obviously the queen can take. And uh, after the pawn takes and knight takes back, so sacking a knight for a pawn, we see here that the queen has only got one escaped uh, spot, which is found on b4. Now, in the game, we get rook to a5, but let's just say the queen went to b4. The game could continue with knight to c7, forking the king and the rook. After king e7, knight e8, queen to a5, e5, attacking the knight. We get knight to e8, and e takes d6 with a check. Knight we takes back, then we get c4, the queen captures the knight, then we get c5, attacking the knight. We get f5, uh, queen to a3 is the best move here, and after a move like rook to e1, stick it on the same file as the king, white has got a very, very nice attacking game in front of him. Look at all the black pieces, they're all bunched up on the original uh, 8 file, so not great prospects for black in this game. But of course, uh, Kasparov didn't play queen to b4, he played rook to a5. Now, rook to a5 is an inaccuracy. Can you see what the move here that Anlan played, which actually ends up trapping Kasparov's queen? Well, he plays rook to b1. And rook to b1 is really bad news for, for the queen, because there's nowhere to go. You could capture on a2, but that is no good because after playing knight to c3 and queen to a3, you now capture the queen uh, by playing rook to b3. Rather, you um, uh, you you trap the queen. So there's no way out in this position. So after rook uh, to b1, we see that Kasparov plays rook to b5 and gives up his queen, knowing that he is now trapped. And after rook to b2 and recapture with rook to b2, we see here Kasparov is up two points in up two points of material. But again, when you look at the position, uh, black has more pieces. However, he's got a rook. He's basically got a rook and two knights for the queen. So you think that's pretty good compensation. But when you look at where they are. Um, you can see why white has definitely got a lead in this game. And after this really great move by Anand of queen to a1, now black's rook has pretty much nowhere to go. So he goes back to b6, which is the best move, and Anand takes with the bishop. And after knight takes b6, we get this move of c3, which is attacking um, the bishop. And so we get uh, bishop to e7. Now after rook to b1 and knight to d7, you might think, well, there's a bit of a move here to play if you play queen to c7. But this actually would fall into a nice little trap for black. After black would castle, you'd think, well, after capturing the knight here, 
and everything would be well but in fact after you would fall into this trap of playing bishop to d8 so after you play with the queen to c8 we see that you fall into this really desperate trick of bishop b6 check and a discovery attack on your queen losing the queen so in the game rather than falling into this we get the move of queen to g7 by an ant now it we get bishop to f6 queen to h6 king to e7 and in this position anand plays a mistake pretty much the only move that he went wrong in the whole game he played bishop to b5 now bishop to b5 actually allowed um, a possibility of a completely equal position by Kasparov uh, because um, what he should have played here Anand was g4 and after something like rook g8 g5 bishop to b g7 you couldn't actually capture this pawn here on h7 because you would fall into this trap of bishop to d4 check and after you play king to f1 you've now trapped your own queen so showing that uh, Kasparov with really wonderful defensive uh, ways to be able to get out of the bad position that he played managed to get himself into now in the game after bishop to b5 we see Kasparov actually makes a bit of a tactical mistake he plays rook to g8 the reason it's a tactical mistake is a better move would have been e5 and after rook to f1 now rook to g8 the f pawn takes bishop takes on e5 queen to h7 rook to g7 queen to h4 check and knight to f6 this game is pretty much even now so amazing how just one mistake by an ant nearly lets Kasparov back in but he doesn't quite get it. he plays rook to g8 and the game continued with rook to d1 now attacking this um, very loose pawn that Kasparov has on the d file so <laughs> Obviously, Kasparov is thinking, well, what can we do here? He decides to play e5. Now, this e5 break doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because, first of all, we get f5 by Anand. And after knight to c5, here uh, Anand plays his second brilliant move in the game. Can you find it? I'll give you a moment. He plays the rather wonderful rook to d6. Now, if you take with the king, after queen to f6 check you have to pretty much the best move is bishop to e6 and after bishop to e6 and f takes and f takes queen to f7 the computer wants you to move the the rook to either the a file or to h file uh, but white is pretty much devastatingly win winning in this position um, another position you could have played here instead of playing the bishop you could play played c7 after queen to f7 check and uh, bishop to d7 um, you could take back with your own bishop and again white is completely winning in this position but rook to d6 brilliant move instead we get bishop to g5 by kasparov then we get queen to h7 knight to e4 attacking uh, the rook and so we get rook takes on b6 and here Kasparov again very nice uh, always fighting I mean it's plus five in this position but uh, again finding defensive maneuvers threatening with the threatening a check that could only be blocked here with the bishop and with this check to follow up he could find himself in a little bit of a tricky situation and if he doesn't react obviously he's going to lose his rook so anand actually plays the best move here which is bishop to d3 allowing uh, himself to give up the rook and after bishop takes b6 we have bishop takes on e4 and here kasparov thought well i can attack here uh, but a very nice move here of c3 by visi anand and well, in this position, Kasparov uh, simply just resigned because if you take the bishop here, of course, you end up losing your rook after you check the king. And in this position, the game is completely lost. So very interesting game. I hope you enjoyed it.